Hello and welcome, I'm the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 and I'm trying to teach you how to play Crusader Kings 3 by simply me playing and explaining what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So you get a better idea of what's going on in this game and what you need to look out for. So in the last two episodes we struggled our way upward and we have taken over the duchy uh, down here. So we are now a duke, meaning if you look at our succession, which is very important that you check that from time to time, we will see that we are losing some titles on succession because we have many sons and our sons need to get land. But we're not actually splintering our realm. No, no. Our realm will remain safe. It's just that our son will only have one county under his direct control as opposed to the three that we currently hold. And his brothers each will take one, at least at the current state. If we take more counties, this might look a little bit different because our current impassive succession law should give the lion's share of the titles to our player heir. So we just, basically we need to have more county titles than we have sons. Then our primary uh, heir will get the most county titles. But if there's exactly as much or less county titles as we have sons, then it's going to be split like we're looking at here. But... That is not so bad necessarily because our son will have a claim on these still. So if we so desire, once he becomes uh, the ruler, he could push to go ahead and get those titles back from his brothers. But another thing we would or should look at is really maybe increasing our crown authority. So vassals can be created, titles can be revoked. I'm looking more for imprisonment because at the moment I don't feel like I can imprison anyone. But it doesn't, it doesn't even say here anywhere. Another thing eventually we should change once we get the chance is uh, changing to male preference. Instead of male only, male only is a problem. We do have two guys imprisoned. We definitely want to put those into the dungeon. They are a little bit safer there, you understand? Uh, that just means they, they, don't, they don't have this issue of potentially leaving, you know? But we sure don't want them to leave. They are our honored guest. Uh, we could torture them, and because it's kind of they they did very bad things to us. No one will, no one will mind. Their family will mind, sure. But this guy's our rival, so it's actually kind of relaxing for us, and we get some dread out of it. So I think our our rival and former liege will just torture him because you always want to set a good example, right? So if someone overthrows us, they're gonna do the same to us. <laughs> That's very smart of us to do. Let's check this guy. Can we make an alliance with him? Maybe. We could go ahead. Arrange a marriage. Let's check. Do we have a son? We have a bunch of sons. And he has a daughter. Perfect. So, oh. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. We already have too many alliances in his idea. In his view. Ha. Huh, fool. He does know what he's missing. But of course we would like some bigger, better alliances, honestly. So let's shop around a little bit. But I don't think that's actually a thing that we can get done here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No alliance out of this one. Okay, but we have some more decisions to make. Or we had them for a second. And now they're gone. Why can't I be this? Ah, okay, we don't have enough piety. We lost a little bit of piety for torturing this guy here. So he has now a lot of stress. So this guy, this guy is near death now. He he's he's gonna die within a year, and he's possessed now, due to our torturing him. So he's he's as good as dead, basically. Uh, we could get some money to release him. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. He stays in our prison, and you stay in our prison as well. It's nice that you want to pay for your own ransom, but I have some other ideas. You stay. I need you. So I want to get enough piety so we can become a supporter of the Caliphate. I think that would be cool. And there's some interesting options here. Uh, request incursion. Seek the aid of the Turkish warlord to invade and stabilize his ruler. So we could be like, hey, Tertugul, would you go do this for some money? I will help. I will also fund that a little bit, but we don't have enough money to do that. Okay, that's, that's pretty interesting. That's cool. So the Turks are actually pretty dangerous. <laughs> interesting. Interesting new mechanics around here. 
All right, a gift fit for someone. We're not gonna go and gift anyone anything. The gift of my company is bright enough. I mean, look at us. We look fantastic. Such a beard. One could only dream of such a beard. So what wars can we declare? Anything that is sensible for us? No. We are weak as heck compared to all the rulers around us. Taxes to benefit both of us. Berang gains the trait tough soldier. Alright, okay. We could try and make him even better, but I think tough soldier is good enough for me, thank you. So we could still attack up here. And I think we're gonna do it. Okay, Hassan left the prison. He just kind of walked out of it. You know, he, he is possessed. He went through a portal to hell and left, but Okay. Alright. So I can't imprison him. Can't murder him properly. I can demand conversion. And if he doesn't co convert, I probably can start a war against him. Or imprison him. <laughs> but interestingly enough, this is... Okay, we only have... We have a very slim chance to do it. So he's gonna ra rise in revolt against us. And he's at the moment, he's not even all that weak anymore. Actually, actually, he has some allies here. But the ally is our vassal, so his ally is not going to join him. So he's actually not that strong. So we're going to try and imprison him again, which will lead to him revolting, because we have 0% chance of getting that done. And now we sent it. Now we sent that, we can already start raising our troops. You can't start raising your troops before you want to start a war. Let's set our guy. He's oh he's still organizing. All good. All good. So he's gonna decline. He's gonna be no. I don't want this. And I'll be rally the troops. How does he have two thousand troops though? What's that? He doesn't. Or does he? Ah, we become friends with our friend Shaikh Abd over there. Okay, and we are running into the enemy with a bad commander. Let's put ourselves in. Uh, we might lose this battle. This might not be a good idea. I am hoping... Ah, he's gallant. Okay, now he has all the traits that we have as well. And he has more. So this is a bad, bad idea. We're attacking into mountains against someone who's better than us. We are winning, luckily, but this was a dangerous move. This could have gone really, really wrong. The only reason I think we're winning is because we have more knights than him. I think that's the only reason we just won this. Not a good reason to win this. Okay, next time we got him in our prison, he's gonna be executed. I'm not gonna let someone walk out of my prison and live to tell the tale. Like, that's just... Mm -mm. That's not how that works. Let's arrange some marriage here, maybe, if we can. Get some internal lines going. No. Okay, another woman of ours is pregnant. Let's try and find some spouses. It can't be that there's nothing with a good alliance power here. 700, see? 700, that's fine. Let's go. I'll take that. I'll take 700. How long will this take? Six months. Uh, my Zana will heal our sorrow. The daily wolves of life have become agonizing to me. Every day I pray for some deliverance from the inescapable fate. Perhaps Ormazad might breathe new life into the shallow husk. We could bring him in into our Mazda Zainza. Or we just kind of comfort him. This is dangerous. He might lose some opinion of us because, you know. But it could lose us a lot of stress. I think we're going to go with the opinion. We're just going to comfort him. Not talk about our secret faith. It's all good. We don't have that much stress. So the amount of stress relief that would be afforded to us, which is good. 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much to us. Oh no, our thing is under siege. How long will it take? Five months. Five months. So his siege will be finished quicker than ours. Okay now. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Probably leading his own armies there. Oh, new perk. And yeah, promising prospects. Marriage acceptance goes up, which is pretty good. So wait, with the marriage acceptance going up, can we get this done? No. Okay, even even with the bonuses, that doesn't help us. Another daughter. Let's see what alliance she can bring us. She can bring us 1,377 men. Very good. I mean, it all sounds kind of horrible, right? But it's what it is. We need the military strength. Now maybe we have a we have a lucky break here, and we just get a good hostage out of this siege. Nope, no good hostage out of this siege. So let's go fight him in favorable terrain. Ah, that venomous ogre. The openly of the illegitimate uh, daily usurps his rightful lands. Okay, we become rivals with someone, or we could try and write a letter to him and be like, hey, buddy, we don't need to be rivals. Let's go. And oh, our letter softens him, so we don't become rivals. If you can avoid being rivals, avoid it, because rivals are kind of hell-bent on trying to mess up your life. So they're gonna scheme against you and all that stuff. It's not, it's not good. And another... Where are you? Another, another daughter. And we're gonna call you... What should we call you? Okay, so he's going to retreat this direction. We're going to start sieging here. <laughs> if we take that siege down, that gives him 9% war score. It's not a lot. But that would bring our occupation score over 50%. And then if we defeat him one more time in battle, we are pretty much done with this war. And we need a new Marshal. That is not great. But we have a... Good bunch of options here. Could put this guy in who hates us. Huh. Now we'll put this guy in. He's the best at what he is, at what he does. So where is he going? Will he attack us? Will he try and resiege this thing? Looks like he might be trying to attack us. Oh no, he's sieging something else. Interesting. Interesting choice. We can live with that, for sure. And we're done here, so now we can go attack that. And that battle sh should push us to a win. And he's not getting away either. Like, you can kind of tell. If they start moving and the indicator stays, you're likely to catch him. And there we go. We're fighting him, winning. Winning nicely. And that's the victory for us. And he is back in our prison. And this time, my boy, execution. Oh, 
Uh, and the execution of this guy consolidated all the lands under him. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> oh no. So now we have a very strong vassal who hates us. Uh-huh. Alright. Do you have anyone to marry for an alliance? <laughs> anyone. Anyone at all? No. Well, that's bad. I think we might have made a bigger issue there. But the thing is... This is gonna bite him a little bit. He has too many holdings that he can't manage himself. So... This will weaken him. I should hope. We definitely need to replenish our strength. Oh no. One of our daughters died. And with it, one of our alliances goes. Was it an important alliance? Oh god, it was an important alliance. Hey, we have another daughter. Would you like her, maybe? She's great as well. Huh? Huh? No? Darn. Okay, let's see what we can do for this kid here. Alliance power. He would be stronger if he weren't so defeated right now. Again, from this perspective, he accepts it. It's very weird. Our friend was taken a prisoner. Oh, no. Okay, let's go annoy our little vassal. Let's increase the taxes if we can. Can I? Yes. So... Ghazi status. Doesn't work. Taxes go down. Okay, I don't think that helps us much. Another sun. Mermadan. So, leash per vassal plus 1% men at arms damage. But we lose a lot overall. Here we get more here we get more taxes. And he'll hate us. But he'll be more pious. Hmm. What would be good for us? Like you can see the changes down here a little bit. More money. More money. I mean, this is kind of the best change, except for him hating us, but he hates us already. So, maybe he can hate us and pay us more? Like, that sounds fair. I think. I mean, everyone hates us more, so not not just him. Okay, now we can do the become a Caliphal supporter. Emphasize submission to Caliph. Every most, most important worship the world knows who, who they obey. Um, install a supporter, Kaza's belly. Okay. So we could attack others to make them have a supporter. The tractor of the caliphate will hate us. Um, so should we become a supporter or not? It sounds like a dangerous decision, but we're on stabilization here. So... I think that's a good thing. So let's, at the very last second, become a supporter, maybe. For all to hear. I have declared that henceforth in my lands, Caliph al Muta's name shall be read first and foremost during Friday prayer. As this is the time when the realms men assemble in their local mosques for worship, it should serve as a clear mark of my willing submission and support for the unity of the Caliphate. I have done a bold thing here. And we have struck, struggled another catalyst. We have triggered another catalyst event here. I think we just pushed it into 500. Progress toward stabilization, plus 25. Character takes the decision to become a supporter. That's pretty high. I 
Unrest phase in is in transition. Okay, so stabilization will start in 90 days. So the stabilization phase will start in 90 days, replacing the unrest phase. Interesting, 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 interesting. Interesting. I think. I'm very nervous, honestly, I must say, because I haven't experienced this part of the game yet. So all this is kind of new and I feel like, oh god, I can do a lot of things wrong here. Like, this can go really, really wrong for me. Uh, should we go attack Derbent now? Let's check the factions. Like, what? Okay, these Okay, these cannot join factions. Why can you not join a faction? Okay. Only for another uh, seven years. Let's attack this here. Worst that can happen is Kazaria comes and takes it from us. This is literally the worst thing. Install loyalist would be cool, but we don't have the we, have, we don't have the faith for it. So we're just gonna go conquer county. That we can afford. Still organizing army. Let's get everyone going. Okay, can we avoid going by ship? Maybe, but we have enough money to do it by ship. So, we should spend some money, honestly. Build some stuff here that brings us money, ideally. So, what do we have? The quarries? I haven't really seen that yet. We have pike here. So... Barracks would be good. Because it helps. But I feel like I would like to improve our defenses a little bit. But we already got this. Simple earthworks. Mount Davam Damavand. Oh, that's a really good thing. Jesus. That's crazy good. Holy hell. Okay. We don't really have cavalry yet. Blacksmith is kind of a good choice, always. Ah, uh, it's a difficult choice for sure. I would like something that gives us more income, but... Okay, well, how, what, what does quarries do eventually for us? Station, heavy infantry, spearmen, toughness. Toughness goes up a little bit. Garrison size goes up. Men and arms maintenance goes down a little bit. Quarries aren't too bad. But the early thing is not super good. At second level, it becomes good. So let's go with quarries. Why not? I never had a home in the mountains. So once your troops are on the ships, it costs you basically one gold per hundred soldiers to embark them. It's rounded up, as you can see. Uh, so it goes to 16 gold from... Because we are above slightly. And now our troops are on the ships. And it costs us more while they're on the ship. And we don't want to land directly on the shores of our enemy. Who has called in an ally. Because if we land directly atop of him. For now we have this little disembarkation thing. For, for 25 days our advantage is minus 25%. So we'll see how long does it take us to arrive here. 20 days. So we'll arrive with the negative modifier. We'll just wait. We'll just be honest and wait. And we could put this guy in. Who hates us, but he's a fairly good commander. Or we put this guy in. Who's very good at tough terrain and who also hates us. So... Chance he dies. And right now we're still winning. So his allies are gonna come, for sure. But they're going to have that negative modifier as it stands. So I feel confident-ish. I shouldn't have felt confident. Oh god, we're, we're getting obliterated now. I don't know why this is so bad. He has recently disembarked as well, but he doesn't. So his recently disembarked doesn't trigger. Because the base troops he's reinforcing, they weren't recently disembarked. So we learned something new here. I didn't know that either. 
I didn't know that the base troops existing in the place already would cancel this the disembarkation thing. That sucks. That sucks a lot, and I don't like the logic behind it. But allied combatant slain. Oh no! The guy who hates our guts, he died. What a shame. Now we need a new leader here. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't even him. Oh, darn. Someone else died. So now we lost the money to embark and we will have to do it again. We will still win. But we are definitely weakened now. So let's see. Uh, the stabilization thing has started. So what are the effects? Wars. Men at arms recruit cost minus 50%. Maintenance minus 25%. We feel that for sure. Uh, personality, energy and boldness. I don't know what that means. Uh, culture effects. Learning a new language provides prestige. Oh, granting a title to a local noble provides prestige. Increasing the development of a county with a different culture increases cultural acceptance. Opinion of same... Alright, okay. Forming an alliance with another involved ruler provides piety. Completing buildings and temple holdings provides piety. Alright. Becoming friends provides piety. Same faith opinion plus 20. Let's see. Unlocks the befriend scheme. Oh, very good. So we can now, or we should be able to now make friends, just willy-nilly. We can just now run around and be like, hey, you. Want to be my friend? Okay. Not with this guy. Ah, with this guy too. So 100%. He becomes our friend. Let's go. Let's, let's get our Mufti to be our friend. Let's raise our few troops here. There are some, some knights in there, so it's worthwhile doing that. Now let's switch in this guy again. And let's not repeat our mistake. We're just going to move our armies up there. And right now we're not going to go by ship. So we don't need to worry about disembarkation. We can do a shift move as well. Demand hostage. Okay, so this guy. The clan kingdom over here. They want a hostage from us. Um, do we want to do that? Wardens at war with the courts may freely execute hostages. Home courts and wardens suffer penalties for attacking each other. So it kind of secures us a little bit against outside aggression. So I think we're going to go with it. You want my son, Shahajar? Let's go find him a spouse first. Before we send him off. Let's get an alliance. And then we can send him off there. And now we... Oops. Okay, I think we declined. I think we declined on kinda accident. That wasn't really my intention there. Whoops. Okay, so this is really bad for us. We, we lost the battle so hard. There was really no need for us to lose this battle so hard. Maybe call in an ally. <laughs> it, it looked so simple. Oh, we can't. Why will he not accept? I have not seen this. Opposing struggle side. Okay, so calling in someone when you are losing, they might not do it. Interesting. I've only ever called vast, uh, allies early, so I've never really seen that. That's cool. I like that. Spouse opinion plus 50. Skills for spouse. Rice consular tasks plus 25%. Very good. Our spouse likes us better. So, is anyone here willing to join us? Oh boy, no. No one. Okay. Someone. The tiny ones. Oh, this guy. This guy is happy to come. Sure. Let's call in an ally. There's no, there's no shame in it. Oh, whoops. Okay. So, our enemy is, uh, is wise to us. This is step land. So, let's put in uh, someone who's a desert leader. It doesn't actually get... Step defense. So we're just going to lead ourselves because we're the best leader here. And our troops get a big bonus because we're leading personally. So we might win this one just because we get a big advantage going here. So lucky, kind of. But now we're going into different terrain again. So we're going to put this guy in. 
because he gets some bonuses there. And until they return to fight us once more, our ally hopefully will have arrived to reinforce us. Question is, where where are they? I never know where my allies live. Okay, he's going to take forever to get there, so... Likely we will still fight them on our own. But that's okay. So what's happening? How do we how do we how do we go for unrest? Why do we go from stabilization to unrest? I mean concessions is still losing, isn't it? Let's see. Beset by rebellions and intrigues, the caliphate scrumbles. Ambitious warlords and cunning governors alike grasp at whatever power they can usurp, squabbling constantly. Over time, unless the situation is resolved by, ending uh, en by an ending phase, the realm will enter a stabilization phase as desperate supporters claw back caliphal authority. But this is a stabilization phase. I'm very confused. Okay, I'm worried. I'm worried. Okay, we're being blackmailed again. Um, the Imam must be guilty of something. I don't care. Oh god, we lose all of our lovely piety. And go away. Oh god. Okay, so someone exposed our secret faith thing. And we're now dropping that one. We're losing a level of devotion, which hurts us a bit. And we're fighting yet another battle here. Let's see. If we switch to our guy. Yeah, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna keep him in. Uh, Alright. Good evening. Thank you for the uh, reminder. I shall have a drink there. Ah. Water. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, okay. We're winning again. <laughs> Hello there. You found a use for that emote. I knew it would be useful. Eventually, at some point. <laughs> so our enemies are kind of thrown into the wind. They are going into all different directions. And he's just keep attacking us. It's literally nothing he can do besides keep attacking us, so... You know, why would he stand and wait until he's losing if he could keep attacking us? So that's what he's going to do. And we captured some enemy combatants. That could, of course, mean uh, like this one. We're going to ransom because he's, uh, he's he's got a title. We can't convert him. So we'll take the 30 gold. Thank you very much. But the other guy there. Um, I see some more knights for us. Brother. Will you convert and recruit? Okay, he will not convert, but he will recruit. That's fine. Then come come fight for me. Do better. Look at all these lovely soldiers we're getting in here. Come on. Everyone, everyone fight for us, huh? How does that sound? And some of them are even willing to go and uh, recruit. Now we need a good... Or at least some court physician. We're gonna take our wife. She's poor. She's not gay. She's not great at it, but she loves us, so she's unlikely to intentionally hurt us. And we're gonna get a nice little amount of people joining us now. New knights. New soldiers in our armies. Look at that filling up. Look at that. Filling up with good, good, good men. Very good. We like this. Now let's make sure they have wives. This guy needs wife. Let's get um, someone halfway young. Maybe. I don't really... Yeah, there. 29. That's fine enough. You got someone... You need someone... Ugh. Maybe not someone with bad skills. Is that guy an asthmatic knight? Alright then. 
And... It's really not so many young options here. I think 29 is fine enough. You can just go by the color of the heart. That's giving an indication of how well they're suited to still have children. I mean, 30 isn't terrible, but... You know. Okay, this guy cannot marry. Not quite sure why. Not quite sure why. Everyone is accepting. Another son, oh boy. Did we just call our son Karen? Did I see that right? <laughs> we just called our son Karen. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. And we're about to win, I think. And a faction has been created against us. Ah, it's just peasants. Not to worry. We like peasant factions and rebellions. Very good. So this land is now our land. And uh, we can't keep all these titles here. So we're just going to check who's going to inherit this stuff and just give it away. Kind of. So we grant him. We grant him something there. The whole thing. And that's that. So it's now within our realm, but our son is the ruler there. And did this count at all for anything, for this struggle thing? Did I help? Was I a good person? Oh, we can ransom this guy. Hello, 50 gold, thank you. And we can negotiate an alliance with our little son. And be like, hey, how about family, no fight family? How, how, about, how, how about that? How about, how, how sound? How feel? Feel good? Sound great? Good. Feel good, sound great, we do. I think this guy wasn't involved, so it doesn't really count. Now let's check, what wars can we do? Nothing we can actually win. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Um, oh, with our allies, we might actually win something. Install a loyalist down here. That's what we could fight for if we had the piety, but we do not. Not at all. So we could go on a holy war for our county or push some claims here for this, for this lad who wants this one piece, this there. Um, don't quite think that's worthwhile, especially they have more money and everything. They have no allies at the moment, but they could get allies while the war is raging, so always keep that in mind. But we're kind of surrounded by people who are much, much stronger than us. Meaning, we need to keep building at home. So Amul, we're going to lose on succession, so we're not going to improve that. We're just going to keep improving our direct holdings here. Um... This is soon finished. Could build something in the city. Now, we don't control this directly. We could only get a percentage, but making that stronger and more powerful, of course, helps overall us. Especially if you build guilds. Guilds is good. Gives us some growth overall and gives us some gold, which we for sure like. So let's go with that. I think. 150 gold is a lot, but... Let's check what we can build at home first. If we even can build anything, we cannot. Hmm. <laughs> Could build a new holding. But it would have to be a temple, and we can't afford it, so... It's not a great position we're in. But with technology, eventually, through here, we'll get more building slots. So I think it's over there. What a good day. Oh, we become friends. Our friend scheme is done. Very good. 
ledger additional building slots right here so if we push for this which we can now because we are ahead of our culture that's lovely uh in 53 years we will be able to build another thing which is quite powerful do not underestimate this never underestimate that this is very good okay so we can uh, oh god where is the weak why do we have only so few soldiers What's going on here? Let's check this thing. Is this a problem? We're only getting 81 levies from our soldiers. And we can't change that back for a while. Which is okay. But I feel like we're cheating ourselves a little bit here. With 81 soldiers. I feel like we could have and should have more. Ah, well. Another child coming our way. Let's see. Who could we befriend? Maybe we try and befriend some people around us. Maybe we try that. Can we? 7% chance. That's not great. Wait. More and more things are breaking out of the Abbasid Empire. That's interesting. So he's not very strong, and he has not a lot of gold, and we have a claim that we could press. And he has no allies, but we would need to bring in all our allies, but we do have enough prestige to do so. So we could fight him and take some of his land. Could. Question is should. <laughs> I mean, now we kind of can, can pretty much grow. We don't need to worry about uh, potentially getting duchy titles created. That's not going to happen. Like, there could be one created right there, but unless we do create it, it's not a problem because we don't have confederate petition. Our succession law here is impassive, so there is no creation of titles for our children out of thin air like there is in confederate petition. So we can basically grow as, as long as we kind of want for now. So why can't we change this? What's being blocked here? That's some sort of clan mechanic. So we are working toward friendly. Rulers cannot use the invasion causes belly. House bustles are less likely to create factions. Causes belly cost plus 15%. Dread decay, monthly lifestyle experience plus 5%. Unlocks rescue house members, unify the house, causes belly. Um, okay, we're kind of working toward that. Each unity has some positives and some negatives. Like, none of these are particularly good or particularly bad. But we change our succession style basically by pushing this in a certain direction, basically. That's kind of what we're doing here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting stuff, I must say. Mm-hmm. I mean, this one here... Oh, yeah, he has allies, so... <laughs> That's... He looks the weakest in the list, but he really isn't, because... Well, he has allies. This guy doesn't. We could convince him to join my side. Let's convince him. Let's try that. Might accept. 22%. Let's go. Let's let's throw our dart. And he refused. <laughs> uh, so he kind of hates us now. Good enough reason to, to attack him. Push those claims of our boys. Oh, that's our claim, actually. Not even a claim of our boys. It's our claim. But we do need our allies to win it. We cannot personally win it at all. Uh, we're way too weak. I'm scared. I'll admit it right here. I'm just too scared, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, that's a name. Chandra Balaba. 
Chandra Balabo. Ch that is a name. We're going to take that. Like, look at that. Chandra Rababla Rostamadok. <laughs> oh my good god. Alliance power. Let's go. Shikedom of Homs. Let's get you guys into the fold, huh? Huh? We will be best of friends. Yes? Yes? The very best of friends. Excellent. So now we're stronger. More impre- oh. I think they were already our ally. <laughs> oh well. Doesn't matter too much. I feel a little bit boxed in right now. There's too many alliances around here. That's the problem with uh, these poly... ...relationship... ...places. Because they just have way, 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 way too many people. Oh look, that's smaller, that's nicer. The Armenian Principalities. We could we could take a counter. We could take a chunk out of this one. We could take a nibble. To, we could take a bite. That's doable. That's achievable. Let's just eat some Christians. I mean, they're not involved in the struggle, so... It doesn't really matter if we do that. Holy War for our county. Where we don't have anything like that. Another daughter, a Frida. How many children do we have? Oh boy, 13. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and we know we have an alliance with them already, so maybe we get an alliance with these guys. Or we take one of the younger boys for it. That's far away. Far, far away. But he's okay. What can we do with this guy? Nothing, sadly. He's a weak target, but we can't do anything about him. Ooh, new marshal. Peace acceptance, plus 10. So now in a defensive war, we only need to get to 80% war score to win it. Because we have stalwart in our culture. And we get this. In an offensive, it's still 90%. But that's already pretty good, I think. Makes life a little bit easier. I really want to attack him, but I'm also way, way, way too afraid. And I'm still not understanding exactly how we're having so, so few people. And I wish I could click on these, even if I can't change them right now, just to see how it would change, you know? Someone gained the trait a Reaver. Wait, is our culture... Are we pop? Can we? Can we raid? No. If we could raid, we would have an option uh, raise local raiders here. But we do not. So we cannot. I don't know quite how I feel about this. Uh, thank you. You put so much thought. Uh, these you get sometimes where it's just, hey, I wrote you a little poem in the letter. What do you think? And you're just like, okay. That's cool, I guess. Thanks. And then you just go with that and everyone's kind of happy. I mean, this guy hates us and he still wrote a poem. I mean, it's... We can say something nice about it. We don't have to be a meanie. Okay, let's check our succession again. We're gonna lose all of our titles. Except for one. And the one we have, we can't build tall. Unless we get more building slots. Or we get... Oh, we just need... No, battlements and gold. How far away are we from Battlements? Okay, Battlements is a um, high medieval thing. So that's only happened early medieval thing. So we're not even getting that. So Ledger is still the best option for us to get that additional building slot to help make us stronger. Because I feel exceptionally weak. Everyone around us is kind of strong. And we're just exceptionally bad. Like, why does this guy have so many troops? What is this? How do you do it? Okay, he just holds all of this and he can hold it too. That's what's going on. God, our son is going to be so weak. <laughs> he's going to be so weak. Because he's going to have only one county. And that's... You know... 
How many levies are we getting out this out of this one? 337. So he's gonna lose almost 500 soldiers up here. Almost half. It's just gonna be gone. So that's not great. That ain't great at all. So I think we need to attack the Christians. Uh, my army is not a nursery. I mean, he's terrible. I don't, I don't... No, go away. You won't really hate me. So we could just declare war here. And take a piece of them. And we need to call in very few allies only. So we just can kind of chip away at them. Why can't we go for a duchy though? That's the question. Because our fame is less than illustrious. And we're pretty far away from getting illustrious. So we'll just have to take them one piece at a time. And we're going to call in an ally for sure. Something halfway big maybe. A thousand. Will not accept. Okay then him. He will accept. That's good enough for us. And we'll raise everyone. Oh, good. One of our sons and our player heir becomes a tough soldier. And while we have we have so many, we have so many boys, he's going to be forced to be a soldier. I don't even care if our heir dies. We have... There are more heirs in, in the oven. Like, it doesn't matter. Where is he? Why has he not shown up here yet? Oh, he's very bad. He has a prowess of four there. So, if he has such a bad prowess, that's a good sign for us. That means he probably is gonna die in this war. And they can marry. Let's go get that going. Let's confirm these alliances here. Let's give him a chance at happiness. And our southern ally is coming toward us. Now the question is, will we meet our enemy right there? Possibly. I don't see his armies yet. Okay, they're there. So, even if we personally lead, we're only getting an even trade in this. So, instead we're just going to go attack here, for now. Join up with our allies, and then once we have our allies ready, then we can attack here. We have super high quality, thanks to the many, many knights we bring. Speaking of which, our son isn't even in this army. We made him a knight before, after we raised all of our troops. So now here's our little uh, our little son. <laughs> he he comes alone. He's fine. He's he's an adult now. He can come. He can travel alone. And maybe just maybe the enemy will you know intercept him, and and that would be very bad for us. We we would be so sad if our dear beloved son falls to the infidel. Would be unacceptable. It it truly would be horrifying. Allah will judge these sinners. Okay, someone is doing bad stuff in the sheets. So we could just send this single man right there and attack. We could. If you were so cruel. We are not. Not really. Not that you know anyway. Gonna organize the army again so we earn a little bit more gold. Actually, the cash flow is pretty decent. We're just gonna finish this. Um, we're gonna finish this siege. Again, we're not gonna move up in speed because going higher speed in this game is very dangerous. It will cost you dearly. And this just keeps per uh, ticking up on the on the unrest side. So this is just going to switch between unrest and stabilization because it was unrest before as well. So a little bit, it confuses me slightly. All right, our enemy is taking to the field. The question is, will he attack our ally? Maybe. It sure does look like it. 
I will use these to start a private garden. Chance we become an herbalist or we get seeker of knowledge. Or we can just sell some plants. Now let's go. Let's do some gardening. Oh, no, the seeds refuse to grow. That's terrible. Let's go toward our ally because I don't want him to lose here, actually. So I'd rather abandon the siege that we started. And now with our ally, we're just going to go attack the enemy and see what happens. Of course, he's going to fight there in the mountains, so... And we're going to lose 100 soldiers just getting there. Let's wait for our ally and then go push in. And together, just with numerical superiority, we're probably going to win. Probably. Probably. It says probably win. Not definitely. You could, we could still lose, even though it's green here. So, look at that. He is 38 advantage. But we're still winning. But the advantage is still, it's insane. We're gonna have lost so, so many troops in this one. Okay, now we're gonna go siege for the thing that we actually came for. Losing more troops in the process. But our knights are doing nice work. 176 kills just on the knights. Very good. Very good indeed. So now the enemy is just probably going to come over and over and bash its head against us. Why do we only have 600 troops left? We lost 100 here. We lost 100 there. That's 200 out. So 800. Did we really lose so many troops? Yeah, 200. Okay, we lost 400 <laughs> troops in this war. Ouch. O almost lost 50% of our soldiers. Fighting this so far. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely something to keep in mind, I tell you. Alright. So we got a good victory out of it, which is fairly nice. We got uh, plus 50%, so the maximum we can get our battles. And once we reach uh, controlling stake here, that should be another 50%. Or push us close enough to the 90 that we likely are just winning that war. And now we're looking at a dangerous faction again. But it's only the peasantry. Which I don't worry too much about. Our daughter learns a language. Well done. Maybe we should learn a language. Or we should befriend more people, honestly. Why well, well, I'm not befriending people. Let's befriend this man. You there. Spy master. Be my friend. Always make sure that your important and powerful vassals like your spy master, your court physician, all that, that they like you. Ideally, they're your friends because that's when they're more, least likely to try and kill you. Which is the most important thing, honestly. That's what you want. <laughs> Did we lose one? I know just the place for him. Okay, you want to you want to give me this guy. I want to put this guy in my court. <sighs> sure. Send him to my court. He will be yet another pointless soldier in the army. Another knight. Oh no, we no longer have a Alliance with Faris. Because this guy is no longer a ruler. That's not good for him. Or us. That's bad for everyone. Are we getting this? But are we winning it? Ooh, nice. Okay, so that's not a win yet. We have to we have to conquer another thing. Good evening, Captain Bira, and welcome. So nice you could make it. So we have to now move and take another thing. But we can do a little ransom here. That's nice. And we got our next, or no, our first dynasty legacy. Right, so usually I would suggest going for blood. But honestly, there's so much war going down here. So we're going to go for warfare. Uh, we're getting into this for sure. More knight effectiveness, our price goes up for everyone. We need warfare down here. And we have been doing a lot of warfare, so it's, it's just the right thing for us. How are you doing, Captain Bira? How, how is life for you? How's the evening so far? 
Okay, so the enemy comes to contest, but our ally will reinforce. Meaning we are still likely to win this one. Despite his immense advantage. And we can become gallant right there. That's perfect. Which gives us more martial, more prowess, more prestige, more attraction opinion and accolade gain goes up as well. So we, we have become a better commander during the battle there. So now you see why you would want to defend in mountains. If, you, if at all possible, if you can defend in mountains, always try and defend in mountains. That is very good for you. <laughs> nice. More contribution to the Civilization 6 roster adding. Very good, very good, very good. You have zero points. Ah, they're going to build back up. They'll build back up in no time. Another thing you could do is just get more friends in this chat. Just chill out. They don't even have to watch. Just just have them muted. Just sit there, collect points, and then spend them. But ideally, they're going to watch, of course. So our enemy is now going to re-siege what we just took from him. And now the question is, of course, again, who's going to be quicker? Seven months, four months. So he. So we're going to abandon our siege and going to fight him. Because it makes no sense to try and push through the siege. Ah, there we go. Already done. We don't have to fight anymore. We already won. So be it. Big shame. Big good for us, though. Um, never. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. So the peasants are rising in rebellion. We need to rally our troops. Which is not a problem, because honestly, this is nothing. Let's move our rally flag here. And we can... Yeah, we don't even we don't even need more troops. This is, this is fine. This will be quite enough to finish them off. Because they're just so... So much less in quality. That we'll have no trouble killing these. And there we go. Rebellion taken down. We disband our troops. And we're going to go recruit this guy. Because these rebellion leaders are fantastic. Fantastic commanders. So we'll just bring him in. And he can work for us. He's probably one of our best now. No, he's not, but he's good enough. <laughs> Alright, let's get him a wife. Can't say we are not generous. Okay, she cannot marry. Why is she then on this list, huh? I ask. Me and my 70 multi cans donating for Civ 7. <laughs> Unless they're zealous in that case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't convert them if they're zealous, but you can still recruit them, so that's fine. And good evening, Emionis, as well. All right, now we are above our domain limit again. So let's check which of these fools here is going to inherit this stuff anyway, so we're just going to give it to him. Uh, Grand titles, there we go. I can appoint a vizier, right? There's this. There, that is a thing. I can have a vizier. That's a thing that they introduced here. Right. Okay, which one of you pointless heads is my son and heir? You. You will be appointed vizier. Uh. What? Okay, I can't appoint him vizier. I can appoint him vizier. Okay, so you enter a vizirate. Will grant us one extra tax jurisdiction, which we do not need. He's not the most eligible candidate. Okay, we don't need a vizier. Vizier is for extra tax jurisdictions, but we don't need that. We're fine. Our tax jurisdictions are fine. Not in the setup. Mind. But look at that. Like, we can't get any soldiers out of these. 
This is the best we can get. We're not getting any soldiers out of our vassals. That is kind of weird. Okay, well, then again, they really, really hate us. So the more they hate you, the less they're going to contribute, for sure. But... Okay, we, we could assign him to this. So that's a few more. But it's it's almost nothing. I don't get it. How how is a clan supposed to do anything? Or is it is it a mix? Like, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Do I have to make a choice between either they give me money or they give me troops? Okay, let's check that. Let's check that. Let's we'll we'll go here. We'll go here. Um, we're just gonna kick out this guy. One of the less important ones. Uh, one that isn't contributing too much. No, zero point one. That's not that's not big. Okay, so we're gonna kick this guy out. Remove the taxpayer. Right now we can have one thousand seven the seven troops. No, that changes nothing. Oh, that was sudden. That was... That was extremely sudden. At 38? What? Okay, he died from his wounds. What wounds even? I was wounded? I didn't know. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troops. He did. Okay, so we were thinking about doing a little bit of a like a like a retrospective thing where we write down a little bit of every ruler, um, what happened there. So let me let me bring up my notepad, yeah, and we'll we'll write a little bit of a of a epi, epitaph epitaph. I think that's the right word. Uh, so, okay, can I copy that name? No, I cannot. So, Tabaristan Shah Rostam ruled for 17 years, uh, gained the title. No, um, he didn't usurp the title of his leader. He fought and won for the title of his liege becoming a duke I'll translate that word later um or do we do this I don't know it's, it's a little bit mm, I'll think about it I'll think about it I will remember after stream still what, what happened here so now we take over as oh wait, I think this is the title this is a rulership title so Duke Shervin ascends to the throne Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Which... Okay. The Iranian Intermezzo. Okay, this is just popping up again. And we are not a supporter of the Caliphate. As opposed to our father. And now we can see all of our brothers... Like, everything is kind of split. We have, we have nothing left. And now we can have a maximum of 520 troops, as I said. Like... And we can't even have all that many titles. Even if we went and could attack him, which we cannot, we would still be weak as heck. So I don't even know how to play clan. I think this is becoming clear. I don't know how to be a strong clan ruler. I don't know how to prevent any of this. So let's set us up for success. Uh, we're going to go in the same exact same uh, direction as our father went. So we go for chivalry focus, and we go for gallant, so we are less likely to die leading in combat. Uh, our dynasty head has changed over to this guy for some reason. Not quite sure why. But it's not even true. We are still the dynasty head here. Our council positions are empty, so we're going to get the best possible lads on the job. And I don't even care. Hi, good evening. You have played CK3 for years, but never watched streamers playing it. 
Well, I'm so very happy that you are uh, deciding to come here. And you got a gift sub too. I think that is... Um, I think that might have been Fusion Warrior where you got that gift sub. So you can enjoy this without ads. It's fantastic. And if you're watching over on YouTube, you can come over into Twitch and become a subscriber as well. That supports me. And you can watch without ads too. It's fantastic. Of course, you can also just watch over on YouTube, subscribe there and like the thing and maybe share it around, you know? That would be lovely. Yes, best emote on the channel is the bouncing me. Perfect. <laughs> so what moved you to come watch a stream? After years of playing but never watching a streamer. I feel honored, I must say. Honored that I get that distinction. Oh no, this guy needs to improve. Uh, we need to improve... Construction now. The petting is better. Honestly, I'm still sad that no one has adopted my personal favorite. I'm, I'm gonna post it. Why has no one adopted my personal favorite? This one. This one is my personal favorite. <laughs> but I think they're all good. They're all quite good. You're also, by the way, you're all free to submit emote ideas. That goes for uh, for YouTube as well. So if, if you're watching over on YouTube, you have an idea what to do as an emote for the Twitch channel, just go ahead, post an Imgur link or something like that, and we'll go check it out. So our spy mistress will just will be this lady. Because she's actually good at it and she kind of likes us. One of me pointing a gun. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, let's go uh, disrupt schemes. Shooting a gun. I know that's even possible. Like, you guys are joking, but I know how to do that. I can do that quick. I just need a base. Like, something I can use to shoot a gun. Like, how should I be looking when I shoot a gun? Angry, stern, firm. <laughs> yeah, I wish I I wish I had the talent to do something like that. Oh, I have an idea though. Okay, I have an idea how I could do that. I need to make a screenshot from that emote you just posted, just so I remember. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. Okay, I need to make here. All right. Let me set that up. I'll see what I can do. I'll get you guys more emotes. I hear you. Okay, now we need to assign taxpayers. Because right now we have no taxpayers. So, okay, look at this. They're untaxed vassals. So taxable is plus 2.8 and 660. So I assign all these. So we get 111. From this. And we get less money from this. But the same amount of troops. How do you become strong? I think you need to have a lot of holdings. But how do you have a lot of holdings with a lot of children? Because you can't get them back. Like, we can't fight for them. So, we have to fight outside. But we can't because we're weak as heck and we don't even have allies right now. So, I must I must admit I have no idea what I'm doing here. And none whatsoever. I don't know how to do this yet. Well, let's go. Let's try and find us some alliances, maybe. Oh, they're strong. Oh, that's good. I have a lot of kids. I'll just go with this. Like how? How? How do we do this? We'll have to put our thinking caps on. We'll have to put our thinking caps on.
Alliance power. Okay, at least we can get a whole lot of power through allies right now. So that'll do us a, that'll do us a bunch of good. And these are all very young, so they're gonna contribute new children late, late in life. And our wife has already gotten pregnant, so that's nice. Where are the other acceptances for the alliances that we sent out? Did they all fall through? Did we only get one powerful one? Oh no. Okay, then we get some less powerful ones. <laughs> Welcome back, Ahsoka. The the fact that you're that you come in here and you're like, so what have we done? Let's marry your siblings off. I, I feel like I'm doing things wrong. I feel scolded. I, I should have done better. Um I'm just trying to gather some alliance power right now for ourselves, really, but through our extra extra p uh, positions and extra options, it's not really anything good we can get in there. You say go for trades. Well, they're all old, so this is kind of the best option, really, um, of these. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's check through our siblings. So they're all betrothed. I think, for the most part. I think there's very few, if any, that aren't betrothed yet. So we kind of have to wait for them to finish up. Okay, here's the bigger lines we can still get. We'll definitely take that. Well, he's right. Why you play this game if you aren't marrying with your siblings? <laughs> um... No, I think she means to marry them elsewhere. To marry them elsewhere. Which of my brothers is feckin'? I mean, I have so many. I have so, so many. Ah, anyway, once the betrothals are coming in, our, our, our alliance will pop up. This one? Yeah, we're marrying him off. It's fine. Like, it doesn't help me that he's second. Doesn't do nothing for me. Okay, but we're triggering all the catalysts here. And our house unity level has changed to friendly. So that means some things. Let's become a caliphal supporter, for, uh, of course. It gains us a bunch of prestige. And the caliph will be kind of happy. Well, the Abbasid Empire keeps falling apart. It's kind of crazy. So let's check out our... I mean, you could help it. What can I help? I'm not going to help my brother have intercourse. He, he can figure that out himself. He's already fagging. He doesn't need me. He knows what he's doing, I hope. <laughs> so we are now here, meaning... Uh, our succession law is now friendly succession. We can rescue house members as a casus belli. We can unify the house as a casus belli. We cannot invasion anymore. Uh, our house vassals are less likely to create factions, which is nice because we have a lot of house. Um, what the hell do you think I meant? I don't know. You were talking about fecund and marrying people off and I'm just, okay, this is probably about keeping the line alive, you know? That's, I don't know. Specify. Be clearer. I mean, help his stats. Alright, fine. That's probably true. Okay, but I'm still, okay, I'm still struggling a little bit to try and understand how we can be good as a clan ruler. Because... So... Our armies are, are weak as... Heck. And the only way of seeing that, of changing that, is pushing our own holdings. But with a lot of... With a lot of children, our holdings are just going to fall apart. On each succession, so we're just going to stay weak. 
So how do you have a lot of children as a clan, but retain a lot of your own holdings? And we can't even have that many. Like, we can get another one. Possibly through a war if our allies are fighting for it, which right now we can't even start because we have so little. Um... Huh. You don't know. Yeah. Pfft, I'm stumped. I'm trying to figure this out in my head. But at least we're on the right side of history. We're pushing here. We're pushing toward the unrest phase, which I still don't fully understand either because it's going back to unrest from stabilization and then maybe back to stabilization and then... I don't know. Oh, we need... Oh, right, okay. So it's gonna bump back and forth between stabilization and unrest. Unless concession is achieved. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got a notable guest. I usually don't care about them. Like, this guy's only uh, a good soldier. Which means... We would have to pay to get him on board. And... That is... Kinda silly. Like, 75... <laughs> no. Okay, we have we have a son. So our player heir and son is alive. Well, good. Very good. Very nice. So I'm not going to recruit this fool to court. We could use a hook. Okay, tell me more. I don't I don't I don't ever really use hooks. Not that much anyway. Uh let's push him toward war as well. We need that. So how is this guy holding on to all of his la uh, holdings? Just look for a hook in your own court. Alright. I mean, we can do that. We only have our hook on our son. That comes with... You know... Regular... So... I don't know, man, if you befriend him, maybe he stays. He just kind of wants to stay. I don't know. Uh, speaking of befriend, let's go and befriend some people in our court, maybe. Like, I don't think our Mufti matters all that much if he likes us, actually, but... Um, all the others sure do. So let's go befriend some people here. Starting with our spy mistress. Yeah, he only has one son. He's 19. He just he just took over, right? Yeah. Nothing to be expected yet. We could negotiate this alliance. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. And we don't have a court physician. Let's get that in order. And we'll put in... Not the treacherous atheist, but the content empath. He is a little bit less likely to try and kill us. I think. But of course we could also take our wife. She's average in skill. And she's most inclined to not kill us either. There's no big kingdoms nearby to use as a sugar daddy ally for a while. <laughs> uh, there are like the Abbasids and stuff. But honestly we got a decent amount of alliances. Problem is everyone has big alliances. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, unrest will start soon. And even if we had that, again, we like we can't hold all that much. We can't even hold a lot. And we could get one more holding from the Armenians, for example. Like, we could go for uh, the county of, what is this here? Vazpurkan? Which, I don't even know it's, if it's good. We're going to go for his uh, capital county because these are usually the best ones. He has 67 levies here. Okay, maybe it's not the best one. Oh, no, there. 247 levies. I mean, that's pretty good. And has a lot of slots. We might actually move our capital over there. Development is 8. I mean, this place isn't bad. It isn't bad. I just... I mean, this this mountain here is crazy good. But... It's kind of cramped over here, you know? So, problem is, if we take something... 
We just have to keep taking things to have more counties than we have sons. And I don't know if that's possible with polygamy. And if we don't have all the women, then people are going to look down on us. So the only way to get around that is marry a lot of very old women. So they can't have any children. Or have our children die in wars, which we tried, but then we died. So... I think we're just gonna go push a little bit more. But we need our allies to win, for sure. Like, we can't win anything. But we can't do that because we don't have prestige right now. So we're just gonna sit and wait. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh, me and my trusted axe will not part. We get ex respected expert. And that is a permanent one. So we get prowess plus two for the rest of our life. That's pretty good, honestly. The, the 100 martial lifestyle, we're, we're gonna get, no problem. So I'd rather take this plus two prowess for the rest of our life. Hello. That is very good. That is very, very good. We want that. So I do wonder. I do wonder, how do we play this? Like, our factions, these are gonna be a problem. Like, this one dude here is 11... 100 against our 666, which is a funny number. <laughs> oh, another thing, of course. Yeah, of course. Hello. Hello. Wake up. Good morning. How about men at arms? Right? And why not camel riders? I mean, they're pretty bad in mountains, and we're pretty much in mountains everywhere. <laughs> so maybe not. Uh, I am not gonna give him any gifts. Okay, let's check the others here. What do we have? We have the Zupin Spearman, but we already have so many Spearmen. But they would be good. Are they better than Pike? No, they're not even better than Pike. They're just cheaper. So they're better insofar they're cheaper. And they got a Pursuit. So No, they have Screen, so they protect the troops during a retreat. But they're much worse all over. So let's have a little look at the people around us. Uh, to decide what counters what we should build. So they have horse archers and bowmen. So we're, we're countering the archers with pike already. That's fine. Bowmen would be cavalry. We don't have that. Light horsemen, bowmen, and pike. And... What is this? Is this heavy infantry? Yeah, that's heavy infantry. Bowman and Onagas. I mean, Onagas would be also kind of good, but we need soldiers more than anything. Heavy and heavy and heavy. Some pike and some bow. So if we could get something again, heavy and bow, maybe. Let's see. So armored are good against spearmen. We see a lot of spearmen as well. But since we're not going to go for our for horses, that doesn't matter much. So Lightfoot is good against heavy infantry. Sure. Bowmen are good at skirmishers. We don't see that too much. So... I'd say... What do you guys think? Like These are really, really good, but I don't think we have enough places where that matters just not enough places onag is only really good for sieges which is great but we are lacking manpower severely like it doesn't help us to have onagas in here it doesn't make us much stronger we need we need boots on the ground to win battles so i'm thinking light footman I'm thinking that because they're countering heavy infantry, which we see a bunch of. But then again, heavy infantry counter spearmen, but we don't need spearmen counters because we don't have cavalry. So we don't care about spearmen so much. I think we're going to go for some for some light footmen. Just based on what is around us. And then we're going to increase our archers a little. 
And we're gonna increase these guys as well. And then we're gonna increase these, these guys as well. So that's the best thing I, can, I think we can do right now. Just increase our men at arms. I think that's... That is the most sensible option. Let me have a little drink. And by the way, uh, we're we're on one and a half hour on YouTube. So I'm going to finish the recording for YouTube at this point. If you're watching over on Twitch, we're going to keep going. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. If you have any questions down in the comments, you go. And um, maybe consider checking out the Twitch, subscribing there as well. Uh, subscribe on YouTube for sure if you're over there. And see you around next time. Any questions, chat or come over on the YouTubes, on the Twitch. And check it out there. Thank you very much. Until then, bye-bye.